Hello there, how are you? My name is Shweta, and I'd like to welcome you to Easy Classes. If you get the application was unable to start correctly, 0xc00005, error on your Windows 10 or 11 device, you've come to the right place. Yes friends, we have few working methods that we can easily fix this error. Okay, let's see the steps one by one. The first step, we have to clean up the temporary files. To clean them, go to the Windows search bar and search for run. Open the run command and type. The first command is temp, then press enter. These are the temporary files, select all the files by hitting the control plus A buttons and hit delete. Some of the files will not be deleted because these are running in the background. So don't worry just skip and close the window. Next open the run command and type percentage symbol temp percentage symbol then press ok now select the all temporary files don't worry these are the temporary files so just hit the control plus a buttons and delete now again open the run command and type prefetch then press enter so delete the all junk files here also now close the window next go to the recycle bin open that select the all the deleted files and hit delete button to clean them all here now we have successfully cleaned the recycle bin. So now try to open the application. If you are still able to see the same error, the application was unable to start correctly, then follow the next methods. Go to the Windows search bar and search for CMD. On the command prompt, right click and then select run as administrator. Here you need to type SFC space forward slash scan now. Then press enter. So this will help you to find the corrupted files, and it will automatically repair them. So just wait until the process is completed. As the scan is completed now, and if any corrupted files found, it will automatically fix for you. Finally close the window and restart your system. If you still see the error, then follow the next method, that is, turn off DEP, Data Execution Prevention. To perform that, go to the Windows search bar and search for my PC, then right click on that and select properties. Now select advanced system settings. In the advanced tab, find performance under the performance tab, find settings now, click on that. Then go to data execution prevention tab and by default the system has turned on the DEP for all essential programs. Now if you are experiencing the application was unable to start correctly error, then you can select the particular application to turn off DEP by selecting the second option. So then turn on DEP for all programs and services, except those I select. So select the second option and go to add. And now open the program directory locally. See program files directory or program files 86. Now select the particular application that you want to turn off DEP and say open. If you see error that you cannot set deep attributes on 64-bit executables, don't worry, by default, the hardware data execution prevention will be applied. So in such cases, if you want to turn off the all DEPs, then, you have to do it with the command prompt. We know we cannot set in the options, that's why, I will show you, how to turn off the DEP, by using command prompt. Now just close the all windows. Then, go to the Windows search bar and search for CMD, right-click on the command prompt and select Run as Administrator. Now follow with me. Type BCD edit space forward slash S E T open curly bracket C U R R E N T close the curly bracket space N X space always off. When you are done, press Enter. Now, close the command prompt and don't forget to restart your PC. After restarted, try to open the application. If you still able to see the application error that was unable to start correctly, then follow the next methods. Let's try with the next step, that is, bad RAM memory. Recently, if you have installed any new RAM into your PC, and that might be faulty, in such cases, just remove the memory from your system and restart your device. And now try to open the application. If the error is still persist, then follow the next method. That is, disable antivirus. 
Yes friends, in most cases, the antivirus from the third-party apps will try to block the application to open. In such cases, just disable the antivirus from your system. That's it friends, hope one of these methods will work for you, and if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching, bye bye.